Hello everyone, my name is Mark Dolfini and this is the Landlord News Network. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Dolfini and welcome back to the Landlord News Network. It's beginning to look a lot like crisis. This according to a recent study identified a correlation to renters that don't pay their rent on time and landlords who file eviction on them. The study was performed by a group of scholars at Georgia State University working in conjunction with a journalist from the nonprofit newsroom ProPublica located in the People's Republic of New York. The study was particularly critical of a group of landlords located in the Atlanta area in what they referred to as a policy of serial evictions where a landlord or property manager is filing repeatedly on the same tenant. The study suggested that evictions were less aimed at removing the tenant and more at disciplining the tenant through a state-sanctioned threat of removal. So the policy is less aimed at throwing people out and getting people to do what they said that they would do? The report went on to uncover how evictions can hurt tenants insofar as making it difficult to rent in the future, not being able to live in as high quality of places they were living in, job loss, and even homelessness. When asked, an independent group of landlords responded unanimously with, just pay your f***ing rent. What bastards. Landlord News Network did its own independent study and found that evictions are, in fact, part of the collections process and that laws that govern the use of real property actually protect the tenant. There is a system of due process and how filing for eviction is not as easy as the study made it sound. Filing for eviction is one of the last steps in the collections process. It is very time consuming. The legal process is always preceded by sending out late notices, making phone calls, sending emails and texts, cursing yourself for buying the stupid rental in the first place, hating your brother-in-law for going to law school and you didn't, and finally self-deprecation and self-loathing. In other news, home pricing growth slows, which combined with lower mortgage rates and an increasing inventories is the trifecta for home buyers going into the spring. Realtor.com reports housing price increases at 4.3% in the month of January versus a 4.6% increase in the prior month. So to be clear on this, this isn't a decrease in housing prices. This simply means that pricing is still increasing, but at a decreasing rate. Investors shouldn't worry though. In spite of the slower housing price increases, there seems to be plenty of opportunities for motivated buyers to overpay for their investment properties. In other news, it's not uncommon for landlords to often have to deal with noise complaints from neighbors. This case in Scotland was no exception. An 82-year-old Scottish woman was brought to court for continual noise complaints by her neighbors. Stella Mason was upset about her neighbors, so she did what every 82-year-old Scottish woman would have done. She unleashed utter hell on them. Turning to a song popular in the 1920s called The Laughing Policeman, placing large speakers directly against the wall facing her neighbors and blasting the song until as late as 2 o'clock in the morning. Apparently this went on for over two years until she was brought into court for the noise complaint. LNN would play the song for you, but producers considered that to be cruel and unusual. When asked about why she chose to spend the last two years taking aim on her neighbors, the 82-year-old woman replied, What? Police later reported that Ms. Mason was wearing earplugs to help keep from being disturbed by the racket that she was creating. Ms. Mason was fined by the court a total of $532 and has subsequently moved to Inverness to spread more love, joy, and harmony. Stella Mason was last seen on horseback waving the sword of Scotland. It is expected that children for generations will sing songs around campfires about her. Slow clap for you, Mrs. Mason. This just goes to show you that no one does pettiness quite like an angry Scottish woman. In similar news, and speaking of vaginas, one company has developed a speaker designed for pregnant women and they're developing fetus. A speaker called the Baby Pod is inserted into the vagina that can be hooked up to whatever music you want to play. Researchers are divided on the use of the device and that it could stimulate the fetal development in both positive and negative ways. Personally, I'm a little disappointed that it wasn't called the Boom Box. I mean, really? Pregnant women should be warned though, if you do play the laughing policeman in your vagina, you will give birth to Hannibal Lecter. My name is Mark Dolfini and this has been the latest segment of the Landlord News Network. You're already used to fake news outlets, so why not one more? I think that was supposed to read, speaking of speakers, not speaking of vaginas. <laughs>